Welcome back to the channel, guys, and this is part two of my segment, kind of going through what some of the top selling products are here in the state of Michigan. So in this part two of the best of series for uh, just different categories of sales here in the state of Michigan, I'm actually going to cover fishing reels, trolling, spinning, and bait casting. I don't want to cover spin cast because Zebco dominates it so much that, hey, if you want a spin cast reel, buy a Zebco or honestly, the Daiwas are good. They're all good, but I mean, it's a spin cast reel, so Zebco, um, but I want to know down in the comments what you think the number one trolling reel is going to be, the number one spinning reel is going to be, and the number one bait caster is going to be down in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up if you find any value in this video in helping you buy gear coming into spring this year. So first thing first I want to cover is actually what are the top brands that people are buying here in the state of Michigan. And I'm going to rank them from the top to the bottom. And when I get down to the bottom, it's just going to be kind of everybody else eventually. Um, but number one and number two will flip-flop almost every year. They are the dominant two brands in the state no matter the category, year in, year out. And number three is there because of one category of reels more than anything else. So number one this past year was Shimano for things that were sold here in the state through the company that I work for. Number two was Daiwa. And number three was Okuma. Number four would be Lose Fishing. And number five... Um, is going to have to be just pure fishing in general. That's Mitchell, Fluger, Abu Garcia, um, Penn. I might be missing one or two other ones in there, but that's the core of them for usage here in Michigan. That would be your number four. Um, number five, essentially going to be everybody else. Um, if you don't know who that is, that's Tika, Quantum, Zebco, uh, drawn a blank, can't remember any more than that off the top of my head at the moment, but yeah, that's the top brands. So first up, I want to cover trolling reels. Trolling reels is an interesting category because it's walleye fishing and it's salmon fishing. You got the east side pole of what people are looking for and you got the west side pole of what people are looking for. Um, similar techniques in some regards, you know, both sides run line counters, both sides run some boards, but only the uh, the west side uses copper steel and also downrigger setups for the most part. Um, so number one in the trolling reel category, hands down, is Okuma. Some people didn't see that, see that happening probably um, if you're watching this based off of the top five list that I gave you, but it should have been a hint because it is mainly trolling reels that put them in you know, the number three spot anyways in the state. They do have some good spinning reels though right now um, on the market. Number two is going to be Shimano. Now, Shimano over the last you know five or 10 years has slowly been creeping up that trolling reel category here in the state of Michigan thanks to the Dakota Reel Series. Uh, there's actually a new low profile Dakota coming out this year for you guys that are walleye fishermen. Might be really, really nice. Uh, for you guys that are plugging in the rivers for steelhead and salmon, that might be an option for you this, this year as well. So there's another another two reels, two or four SKUs coming into that series of reels from Shimano. Third, used to be the king growing up. This was on every charter boat in the state for eons, and that is Daiwa. Uh, the Daiwa Sea Line AccuDep, um, both the two or three versions of AccuDep, whatever it is. Um, so Daiwa is firmly in third place. 
Fourth place is actually a pure fishing brand, and that's actually Shakespeare. Um, Shakespeare makes a reel called the ATS. The ATS is a really nice value-driven line counter, similarly to the Magna from Okuma. Um, so if you're looking to save a few bucks and you don't troll a ton, you're not going to beat your gear up really bad. Take a look at that Shakespeare. It might save you a few bucks. And last on this list would actually be Penn. And that was a shocker. Um, quite honestly, I didn't know who was going to be fifth place, Abu or Penn. Or is there even worth listing a fifth place? But Penn uh, did have some strong, strong sales. Now, if we break down the trolling reels by actual skew, what the top five are, um, number five would be the Dakota 600. And I'm lump, if they have a line counter version and a nine line, line counter version, I am putting those together just to simplify this because it'd be too nitpicky. Um, next up would be the Magna 30DX at four. Um, third up, and this is where a lot of salmon guys would know this one, is the Con Convector 55L. Um, the second is the Coldwater 203D. Uh, is number two and number one in the state and that is strictly probably due to the sheer price that you're getting that is probably the most value conscious reel um, out there that hasn't had any major issues as of late and that is the magna 20 dx here locally you know in the st Clair market it's walleye trolling and walleye whipping that's used for a lot um, on the west side, I'm not sure how many guys run 20s. I'm sure most of those guys are running the 30s, and that's why the 30s are so high. Next up, we're going to talk about spinning reels. Uh, by brand, first and foremost, we're going to hit it off at the bottom of the list. I actually have six on here, and I'll explain why there's six when I get to number two. Uh, number six in sales total across all their SKUs is lose. Number five in, this is all in spinning reels, is Okuma at number five, Fluger at number four, Daiwa at number three, and number two is an interesting one, and this is the only time this brand will be in any of the top fives the entire conversation, and that was just because of a sweetheart of a deal that was offered at the start of the year to all retailers here in the state of Michigan, and that was quantum hit number two in the spinning reel category and that is due to a special buy on the optic series of reels um a lot of retail i think they were selling them you know for under twenty dollars and there were i think there are 39 or 29 dollar reel so very very good reel uh that everybody could get advantage of it's not a bad feeling reel actually and number one and this is dominant number one and this is because of one series that i have available to me to sell and shimano is a little interesting because there's a lot of reels at the higher end i can't sell because of how shimano does their um their dealings with distributors versus direct customers they have something called a top shelf program and essentially from the dc reels up in baycasters and the ci4 stratic and up I do not have access to sell. So that is interesting. Um, so it's just that, you know, from the standard Stratic down to the FX and spinning, Shimano hits that number one spot in spinning reels by brand. Now, the top five reels by model family. So all sizes of this brand or name um, I'm adding together to do this. So. Number five is the Shimano AX. Very good, solid reel. I've used them a lot in the past growing up. So if you're a youth angler or a guy doesn't want to spend a ton of money but want a good quality reel, definitely take a look at the Shimano AX. I want to say they're like $19 or $22, somewhere in that neighborhood um, at most retail stores. Number four, and this is one I thought would be a little bit higher, but this season I think it slipped down a little bit, and that is the Fluger president i know it's a very popular reel at 59.99 so there's a lot of them out there i um, mean personally i've had some unfortunate history with that reel at past employment uh when i worked for cabela's as a teenager there were some pretty bad 
uh, return rates there for you know when I first released them and kind of have a bad taste in my mouth from that day forward for my personal use, but a lot of people buy them. Uh, third, and this is kind of due to a special buy that happened, um, and that's Shimano IX. We had um, these bulk IX reels available, unpackaged, at a really, really good discount to offer every all the dealers here in Michigan, and a lot of people took advantage of them. Um, some some dealers actually made up their own combos out of them. Other ones just put them in a bin on the counter and sold them really, really cheap for the guys that are you know couldn't afford a lot but wanted a decent reel. The Shimano IX is not a bad reel. Has a rear drag on it, so if you like a rear drag reel, you don't want to spend a ton of money, take a look at that one. Uh, next up, and it's one I've already talked about a little bit, and that's the Quantum Optics. Um, it, it, and it'll be number two this year in sales, and that is amazing that you know a special buy reel um, was that dominant, and there's really nothing else in the top five list for that brand. Um, number one is actually the Sh Shimano Sienna. Um, so there was some special buys um, offered on some older Siennas that was out there. Uh, some ultralight Siennas that were offered for the ice season this year uh, to customers. But there's a new version of it. And I will have a review on the new version of the Sienna coming up on the channel here in the near future to kind of go over and show that reel off to you. It looks really, really good. Uh, so I expect the Sienna to be a very strong seller again this season. Next up are bait casters. Now, like I said in the last segment about Shimano, that they have a top shelf program that is only available to dealer direct um, customers, ones that buy directly from Shimano. So your bigger stores, um, higher volume stores, they generally will buy direct from Shimano so they don't buy through distributor unless they're kind of filling in or we have a deal they can't pass up. So number, eh, we'll do six spots on this one. Um, and essentially number six is gonna be Abu Garcia Baycasters. That's the round series and the low profiles. Number five is one that I'd never thought would actually be in the top five. And that's actually the Fluger Baycasters. The reason I say that is not because they're bad, it's just because there's only a handful of offerings but it just as a testament to how much people love the Fluger President series and the Tryon series that, you know, those same bait casters um, that have the President name and the Tryon name on it are very dominant in guys trying out those inexpensive casting reels there. Number four is Luz. Um, Luz has a lot of offerings from, you know, high end all the way down to a new reel that came out this year for $59.99. And I do want to put that here on the channel and show you that um, when I felt it at our company's show last fall, it really impressed me for a $59 reel, how it felt. And I'm a blood, true blue blood Shimano guy, love them. And it's really hard for me to be impressed by a lot of the brands. Um, so when Luz put out this $59 reel, the way it felt, I really look at, looking forward to doing a review for you guys here on the channel on that one. Uh, number three, and this actually hit the number three spot, and that is because of a special buy on the KVD model of Quantum Reels. Now, if you're not aware of it, KVD, Kevin Van Dam, actually left Quantum and is now with Lose this season. So there was a big special buy offer out there on Kevin Van Dam named Reels. Really good deals um, in the springtime. A lot of dealers took advantage of it and stocked up. And maybe you're one of those guys that got a sweetheart of a deal on those couple Reels. If you are, let me know down in the comments. Number two and number one um, is always an interesting one. Um, when you look at reels as a whole, they're probably number one and two worldwide uh, for good reason. They manufacture their own stuff. They really don't outsource it to a third party factory uh, for the most part, um, with the exception of some of the lower ends um, for one of the brands. Um, number two in Baycasters is Shimano. Now, Shimano could easily take the number one spot if I was able to get the information uh, for the dealer direct customers for the Corrado DCs and the higher end reels that I don't have numbers for and added them in. So they could be number one, 
technically, but for this purpose and the information that I have, I gotta put them in the number two slot. Uh, the Corrado K is by far my favorite baitcaster right now. Um, I am gonna be trying to get my hands on a Shimano XT to do a full review for you guys here in the near future on that one as well. And number one, it's Daiwa. Um, Daiwa opens up their whole cat cat catalog to distributors, so there's a bigger variety there. Um, but Daiwa does a very good job in that mid-range baitcaster as well. And that is where most people really gravitate towards dial as their bait casters are so good. Um, me personally, I don't like the way the framing feels in my hand, but other than that, nothing I can say bad about dial as their quality, quality real, just like Shimano. And really, when you look at bait casters, those two brands should be the first two generally you want to look at. Um, Lose would be the third one I would spend a ton of time looking at because there is a few options like the Speed Spool at $99, this new one at $59, and the Laser at $79 um, that are just really good quality reels for the average guy. But also some of their high-end ones are really, really nice. So maybe over time, Lose will start creeping up into that upper upper level with, with one and two um, as people get introduced to the brand and use them a little more. So that's going to do it for um the real video um, let me know down in the comments if this helped you out at all shopping for this spring um you know for that next reel that you might be looking for the next trolling setup you might be looking for uh, let me know down in the comments if you found any value in the video give it a thumbs up as always i greatly appreciate it, it helps out on youtube when they see lots of likes um, so i do appreciate that and as always guys be sure you subscribe to the channel down below hit that uh the notification bell, make sure it's selected to all so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'm gonna listen to you down in the comments what other uh, categories you want me to talk about down below. I got a couple good ideas. Uh, so you have to stay tuned for the next couple videos of what those might be. So as always guys, tight lines, happy casting, and we'll see you in the next video. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.